welcome to episode three of Craft Chocolate TV. Today we are gonna talk about winnowing. And this is after roasting, it's the next step. So for me, sourcing is the most important, roasting is the next most important. Winnowing is just one of these step-by-step -step processes that we must do in order to get to a chocolate bar. And so this is all about deshelling it. And there's a lot you can tell by looking at the seeds to know how it's gonna winnow. And if you get something like a 15 to 20% return, you're doing really good. The shell is approximately 10% of the total weight of the seed. And so we want to try and get as much nib as possible. So different cracking devices are important and the, and the winnowing machine as well. And so in our process, we have this separated. Our first machine was a bicycle that we hooked up to a cracking device that we made out of PVC and plywood. We had a back massager that would vibrate the beans down the tray into our homemade cracker that was pedal powered. And then we had a vacuum that would suck the shells away. And this worked really well for years for our scale. We now have something that works really well for our scale and we're doing you know, 10 tons last year. We'll hopefully do 15 tons this year. And so I'll talk about these machines in a sec. But firstly, looking at the beans. And so I can just look at these and know that this is not gonna winnow as well as this because they're um, much more, uh, when I squeeze them, they don't have the, uh, the puff in them that happens during fermentation. And they're harder, um, they're smaller, there's various sizes. So these are not going to winnow as well as, as these ones right next to it. I can just grab this and uh, I, boom, like you hear it, it just falls right apart. This is gonna winnow much better than this. Now that's, in the end, all about flavor, but this is more ideal than this when it comes to winnowing. So I'm gonna get a better yield. I might get 15% out of this return, or, or loss on shells, and 20% loss on this. Uh, so yeah, let's talk a little bit about the machines. This is a cracking device. I can hook up a vacuum to it that will suck the shells in the back, but this is very basic. There's two rollers here and two rollers here, and they just gently roll together. And on one of the rollers, there's grooves. And as the seeds go through, it gently cracks them to try not creating a lot of dust. And it just slides right out the bottom into a bucket that we have here. And so the less dust we have, the better yield we're gonna get as full nibs. Because the next step is to blow the shell in a different direction than the nibs, because the shell is not as dense it should separate and that's the concept in winnowing. So we'll pile all the nibs and shells at the top of this hopper here and it's fed down at a consistent and slow rate. Everything slides down this neck and if it's light there's a fan and we can control how much air enters this fan and it blows anything that's light up and into that bag. Anything that's heavy falls straight down and so what we end up with are clean nibs and we end up with the shells over here. And you're just trying to find the balance where you almost have no shells coming into your bucket, uh, but you're not getting too many nibs into the bag. And so this pretty much covers winnowing. And there's lots of different machines out there. This one is relatively affordable. It was around $3,000 and the cracker. Um, I would recommend making one yourself if you're first starting. If you are further along in the chocolate making process, contact Mike Dunn at uh, Rachel Dunn Chocolates. So next episode, I look forward to seeing you then. Aloha.